wrestling. Brad Gilmore and Matt Topolsky for the row right here on Fight TV. And Brad, kicking off the action this week on the reality of wrestling, the Diamonds Division, AQA, defending that championship, the brand new Diamonds Division yeah. champion against a newcomer here in the reality of wrestling in Indy Hartwell. Hey, I'm excited to see that. We're also going to see one half of the tag team champions, Devin Devine, in action. But also, Matt Topolsky, I'm being told that Booker T has a special message for Rex Andrews. Well, all that and so much more, we're not going to waste any time. The reality of wrestling starts right now. Introducing your challenger. Way to the way from Melbourne, Australia. This is Indy Hartwell. Indy Hartwell making her reality of wrestling debut with the Diamond Division Championship up for grabs. Absolutely. We see the Diamond Division Championship change hands in many Diamond's debuts. front row of sports entertainment, the reality of wrestling, Texas City, Texas. And here we go, Indy Hardwell. And a shake of the hand, some nice sportsmanship there between Indy Hardwell and AQA. AQA, can you imagine Matt Topolsky? AQA, she came to a reality of wrestling fantasy camp all the way from Alabama and she, Booker T saw something in her. She started training, working very hard to make her debut, and when she did, she catapulted to the top of the division in no time. There's no question about it. I mean, since coming on the scene, AQA would not take no for an answer. Perhaps the most frustrating opponent in the career of High Young. She just wouldn't go away. Absolutely, Matt Topolsky. Here we go, Indy Hartwell coming to us from Australia. Know she's competed a lot in BCW, PCW, RCW, all across this great world of ours. Oh. Including Shimmer and Rise. And one of the first things that stands out here is, of course, her, her size advantage, which is substantial in there against AQA. Something the champion is definitely going to have to look out for here. made her debut in reality of wrestling. It was in a Diamonds Division Championship match, and guess what happened? She won that championship in her debut at the row, and Indy Hartwell has the opportunity to do the exact same thing against the first defense for AQA. It seems to happen a lot in this division. I mean, this is a division that is always up for grabs. Roll through here from the challenger. And I think that that has a lot to do. Cover. Oh, wait, hold Another on. Another reversal here, series of reversals. Another pin attempt, this time from AQA. I think that, though, Matt Topolsky has a lot to do with the level of skill and the level of competition we have in the Diamonds Division. All these women are very, very highly trained athletes, highly competitive, and if you never know who's going to win on any given night. That's what makes this division so exciting. She has, oh! AQA in that side, headlock and airs. Cover here. Cover. Both these women are still, seem like they're trying to feel each other out, trying to see who can get the better of whom. Well, it's like I said before, the size advantage that you see here from Indy Hartwell. It's, I mean, even when facing Hai Young, who's certainly the stronger athlete of the two, certainly not as tall as Indy Hartwell, and normally AQA loves to incorporate that high-flying style. 
But Andy Hartwell has tried to keep the champion as grounded as possible here in this matchup. AQA rolls through here again. I got it too. What a way to start off the action, though. Here on Reality Wrestling this evening. Championship match. Match that could definitely main event is your opening contest here tonight. We're also going to see one half of the uh, of the tag team champions, excuse me, one half of the tag team champions, Devin Devine, will be in action here later tonight as well. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, look at that. A Karana by AQA. AQA trying to springboard off the ropes here, and Indy Hartwell just throws her down. Like Adderson yesterday's Adderson. garbage, cover one, and a kick out. And that, again, is that size advantage from Indy Hartwell. Just face palming the champion. Look at this. Indy Hartwell came in here shaking hands and smiling, showing all the respect in the world to AQA. It seems like a lot of that's gone out the window. about that, but she still has a lot to prove in her young career, and there are many whispers. Was it a fluke? Cover here, two. AQA has to prove it to be true, and she's got to do it right here by having her first successful title defense. She would love to go into Christmas chaos, our annual event, as a title champion. Face first goes the champion, Andy Hartwell, with an opportunity to take that Diamonds title back to Australia. Kick out at two. And you know Hyun is in the back right now, watching on a monitor. Hyun not choosing to immediately cash in her rematch. We'll see if that will play to her advantage. You would have to imagine though she'd want to get back in there with AQA. Oh my, look at the strength of Indy Hartwell right here. Blood rushing to the head of the champion, a high angle stalled vertical suplex. Cover the champion to capture the Diamonds title. Another late kick out from AQA. Right, I'm not trying to get ahead of ourselves here, but AQA may be in trouble. If it keeps going on this pace right now, down this path, AQA might indeed lose that championship and her very first defense and a big forearm. From Indy Hartwell. Hartwell, Irish whip into the buckle. Thank you, Way. And another one. Oh, there is life! From the champion. Oh, try to get all of that head scissor. Shot from AQA, oh, she's a, getting hyped. And a Superman punch from AQA. Now a flying forearm here. The champion. Oh, oh wow. it's Sagiri! It's Sagiri! Could be lights out to Andy Hartwell. Cover one, two. Kick out from the challenger at the last moment. AQA looking for an opportunity to put this one away. Be successful in her first title defense. Meeting a back elbow from the challenger. Another Indy yell there from the challenger. AQA reversal. Oh, wow. Innovative been over there. Cover two. And she got the win. Still Diamonds champion. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match and still reality of wrestling Diamonds Division Champion, A. Well, it was a long trip for the challenger to get to the World Gym Arena for this opportunity, but that's how this industry is. A lot of sacrifice, and sometimes it doesn't pay off, but it certainly has for AQA. Millennial Falcon, hashtag. This cool. is kind of awkward. What is that? Wh what do you mean? That's my man bun. I thought we were done with the man bun. We are done with the man bun, but we have to immortalize the... <sighs> look, look, look. After last week, after we all fought, the tag team division's hot right now.
We need to have a strategy. We need to leave the past in the past, move on, and get ready for our tag team. Come on. You know what? You're right. It's about the team this time. is about the cool. We need to strategize. You're right. We need, we need to strategize. We also need to do something about the shirts. We need... The button's gone. It doesn't make any sense. That's, that's later, though. Later, Mark. We need to strategize. Come strategize on. now. Come on. Hey, bro, yeah, don't even worry about tonight. Yeah, don't even worry about it. Stay at the place tonight. Take your girl out to a play, dinner, you do you. I got this tonight. Don't worry about Zach and Warren and those guys. They've done nothing to earn a title shot. Yeah, man. Enjoy the night. I'll take care of Houston and get out here as quickly as possible. All right, brother. Bye. Bro Nation, I'm Ashley Gould. Backstage here with the television champion, Van Harrison. Now, you've been called upon tonight to face the champion, Rex Andrews, for the Reality of Wrestling Championship. That's right, Bull. Booker T called me earlier. And when the boss man calls, you answer. Rex Andrews, it's nothing personal, man. But you got to know, with that Reality of Wrestling Championship on the line, that belt will be mine. Because I'm going to break your spine when it hits the pine. And then you're going to hear one two, three. Everyone will then hail Van. Now making his way to the ring from Knoxville, Tennessee. Weighing in at of the reality of wrestling tag team champions, this is Devin Devon. One half of the industry. One half of the Reality of Wrestling Tag Team Champions, Devin Devine, the protege of Diamond Dallas Page. Rose the ranks awfully quick here at the row. A hard hitter, a methodical and bruising athlete. But Devin Devine will not have his tag team partner in his corner here tonight. Booker T making certain that this will be a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Making his way to the ring, fighting out of Houston, Texas, weighing 220 pounds, this is Cedric Johnson. Cedric Johnson, a journeyman here at the Reality of Wrestling. That has been here for a long time. And Devin Devine doesn't seem very impressed, Brad Gilmore. Well, you know what? I was going to say that he need not take Cedric Johnson lightly. Cedric Johnson looks very fired up. And don't let the size difference, the height difference between these two athletes, you know, give, give you uh, any delusions here. Cedric Johnson is a street fighter. Cedric Johnson trained in Chicago, Illinois, which we know is not an easy place to, to cut your teeth, if you will. He's been down here in Houston, Texas for the last eight years with Booker T. And has found success here at Reality Wrestling, becoming one half of the tag team champions. Exactly the same title that Devin Devine now owns. Well, Cedric Johnson definitely got himself some. He got all of Devin Devine, and it might have been enough here. Oh, no, Devin oh, Devine not going for the cover. A little grounded pound there from the protege of Diamond Dallas Page. And you talk about the eight years plus that Cedric Johnson's been here at the Reality of Wrestling. Devin Devine's been here only for a couple of months. And look at what he's accomplished already. What an impressive athlete. Yeah, you know, you took the words right out of my mouth. An impressive athlete. Diamond Dallas Page has always had a historical eye for talent. If you talk about the diamond stud back in the day, Scott Hall, and the list goes on and on of the people that Diamond Dallas Page earmarked very early in their careers. And Devin Devine is definitely one of them. Trying to fold Cedric Johnson in half for that pin. And it's uncanny in a lot of ways how much Devin Devine reminds me of Diamond Dallas Page. There's a lot of similarities there. 
uh, between the two, and, and chief of which is they both can utilize that diamond cutter finisher to perfection. Senator Johnson trying to fight back, runs into that lariat. Devin Devine slow and methodical here. Taking his time with Cedric Johnson. Well, this is his pace. This is his pace. This is his oh. wheelhouse right here. Right, but you don't want to give Cedric Johnson too much time. Look to recover because you might catch a couple of blows in return. Oh, what a spine buster! What a spine buster from Devin Devine! Make Arn Anderson proud! Cover here, hooks the leg, two! Oh, Cedric Johnson getting a shoulder up there before the three count. Devin Devine seemed pretty sure that might have been it for him. You're right, Matt Topolsky, this is his pace. He wants to pick you apart. He likes to slow and methodical, looking for the perfect moment to strike like a rattlesnake and hit you with that diamond cutter in oh. right now. Cedric Johnson had to scout it. that Cedric Johnson has, and he's looking to utilize it right now. Wow, he's got Devin Devine up on his shoulders. What is he going to do? Devin Devine able to counter. Oh, oh, Diamond Cutter! Diamond Cutter! Diamond Cutter out of nowhere. That's the beauty of that maneuver. Here we go, come Get yourself a pillow and a blanket. It's lights out. One half on the Reality of Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Victorious in a big way. An accident in the 21st century presents an entirely new set of challenges. From self-driving cars to failures in new safety technology, if you've been injured in a car accident, you need a 21st century lawyer. After all, you have to make your case here before you can win it here. Injured? Choose the smart lawyer. Call Walker, Texas Lawyer now and download the Walker, Texas Lawyer app. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Nancy Perez and I'm here backstage with the Green Machine, Mike Orlando. Mike, how does it feel to be back in reality of wrestling? It's, it's an awesome question. In fact, it feels like I shouldn't even be here. About five months ago, I completely broke my tibia. And I tore my quad, tore my patella tendon, tore my ACL, and uh, everybody told me this wouldn't be. And for six months, I wouldn't walk. So five months into those six months, I'm back to wrestling. I'm cleared and I'm 100%. So to be back here is, uh, it's a dream come true, but it's an honor. Because this is the kind of place you wanna be if you wanna be a professional wrestler. And that's what I wanted to be my whole life. And unfortunately, in the last couple months, I found out what happens to professional wrestlers because this is the life we choose. But to be back here, to be back what I want to call as home, it's probably the greatest feeling I've had in a long time. And I plan on continuing. Because if you watch that, you'll see I'm 100%. You'll see Mike Orlando is back. You'll see the Green Machine is back at Reality of Wrestling. You're gonna find out what comes next in this story. Because it's the same machine with a total different look. Thanks, Nancy. Thank you. I'm telling you guys, it's, it's just listen carefully, okay? They put chemicals on water to make the frogs turn gay, okay? You, the government has weather weapons. They got these weapons, they shoot at the sky, that makes it rain, makes it snow, makes hurricanes, all that. We have everything. They have weather guns, they have chemtrails, they have Roswell. The aliens have been talking to us since like 1947, and they don't want us to know about it. Just like there are conspiracies out there in the real world, here in reality of wrestling, there are conspiracies against me. They sit there, like the New World Order, they sit there and think about ways to keep J.J. Blake out of all the televisions in Georgia, in Austria, in all of Australia, in all of Georgia, in all, everywhere. Uh, these guys are plotting against me. 
every single day, every single night. They call each other up, and yeah, you know, hey, I, I saw Blake on a television over there in Beijing, in Beijing. Get him off that television. And then, okay, the wheels start turning, and then bam, I'm not champion of all television no more. See how that worked? You, you follow me, right? Yes, that, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I'm going to I'm gonna figure out who exactly is behind this. I know. I, I, I'm pretty sure I know who. I can't say it out loud, though, because they know that I know that I'm going to disappear at the face of the earth. See how that works? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Yes, that's what happens every single time. Yep. The minute the trail gets warm, get, look what? Yep. Bam. Boom. Gone. Dang. Okay? So if I go missing, y'all come. You too. I, I, told, I only told you too. Yeah. Because I'm going to know. I'm a, Okay? We got this. Guys, guys, guys. We got you. For over 13 years, the king of solar screens has been an industry leader, and we proudly use 100% American-made products. Home of the $55 any size, any color solar screen. Well, what about arches? $55. What about circle? $55. What about rectangles? $55, $55. $55. Any size, any color, install free. The king of solar screens, on time, every time. Now can you dig that, sucker? Tonight's episode of The Row is brought to you by Walker, Texas Lawyer at walkertexaslawyer.com. Hilton Furniture, let them have it. Quality Blinds, go to qualityblindsllc.com for free shipping anywhere in the USA. And the king of solar screens, home of the $50 any size solar screen. Welcome back to the reality of wrestling. Brad Gilmore and Matt Topolsky ringside. And Brad, breaking news. You know, Rex Andrews keeps demanding big money fights. Well, he's going to get one coming up next against the biggest opponent Booker T could find in Van Harrison. Van Harrison, of course, the reality wrestling television champion. He could walk out double belted like Daniel Cormier tonight. And also, the winner of this match gets a $5,000 bonus. It's a $5,000 bonus on this fight. It's a huge main event. Absolutely. The grandest prize in reality of wrestling and five grand up for grabs right now in our main event. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one call. In this four, the reality of wrestling championship. Introducing your challenger, now making his way to the ring. Fighting out of Glover, Texas, weighing in at 275 pounds, he is your reality of wrestling television champion, Grant Harrison. Let me tell you something, Brad Gilmore, Rex Andrews. And I have all the respect in the world for Rex Andrews. I love Rex Andrews. He's a hell of a competitor. He's one of the greatest of all time here at the road. But he's been making demands for months about big matches, big opponents, and big money. There's five grand on the line here tonight. The reality of wrestling championships on the line here tonight. And this is the biggest opponent in that locker room. And introducing his opponent. Man, I like Matt Sapolsky. Very few times do you get butterflies here at ringside. This match is giving me butterflies. Now making his way to the ring from Tulsa, Alabama. Big scoop slam. 
Well, we have seen Rex Andrews take on opponents of all skill levels, of all size. Nothing like this before. This is a true trump card, a true joker card right here, if you will, in Van look, Harrison. Look, Rex Andrews trying to get him up for a back suplex, couldn't even get him off his tippy toes. Well, if you are just joining us here on the Reality of Wrestling, yes, this matchup is for the Reality of Wrestling Championship, plus a $5,000 bonus. It is Rex Andrews, the precision tactician, in there with the largest athlete in reality of wrestling history in Van Harrison. Absolutely. And wait, hold on. Van Harrison looking for that splash the second time. Rex Andrews had it scouted. And you gotta think, Rex Andrews not only wants to go out here and beat the man who's simply unbeatable, he wants to send a message to the boss, Booker T. Well, Rex Andrews oh, just tried to break his own elbow to break Van Harrison's jaw. And he oh. got him up and over. What a side suplex there from the champion. Cover here, one. And a kick out after one. Rex Andrews not used to the strength and the power of someone like Van Harrison. An emphatic kick out. And there's another big left forearm to the, from the southpaw. The champ, Rex Andrews. Van Harrison is the reigning Reality of Wrestling television champion. He defeated J.J. Blake in Summer of Champions for that title. Oh, wow! And what seemed like a minute, and look at that! A lariat right there turning Rex Andrews inside out. Rex has had some epic, classic battles in his career, but I don't think I have ever seen the precision tactician dominated physically like this, humbled like this, like we're seeing in the opening minutes of this matchup. Matt, I don't think we've ever seen a reality wrestling championship oh. match. Wait, hold on. Hold on, try to get him in that arm bar. Try to get him in that arm bar. Can he get it? Wait, can he get it? Can he get it? Can he get it? Van Harrison, look at the strength. Look at the strength of Big Van. as a result of a disqualification, Rex Andrews. Well, Rex Andrews by the skin of his teeth, by a miracle, walks out of here tonight, still champion. We gotta go back and take a look at this replay, courtesy of Hilton Furniture. Van Harrison charging in on Rex Andrews and trying to take him out with yet another running lariat. Rex Andrews ducks out of the way is obliterated. Rex Andrews survived, Matt Topolsky. Rex Andrews survived. 